Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco Jayfeather 22RB. If you're looking for a great couples coach and you just want, you know, a great spot to be able to sit and hang out, entertain, but a wide open floor plan, then this is definitely one you want to pay attention to, folks. It's exactly that. It's great for entertaining because you have the dinette straight across from the sofa here. And I'll show you a little bit later, we have a huge rear bathroom. Let's start off on the dinette though. The great thing about this is it's a campsite dinette. And I love when manufacturers do that for me. The reason being that this is what I wanna see, right? I wanna sit right here. I wanna be able to look out at my campsite. I don't wanna stare out at my neighbors all day. So, you know, I like the fact that when you have a campsite dinette, they give you this big window so you can do exactly that. Also, it does drop down if you needed uh, extra sleeping space. You know, it's pretty simple. Take the legs out there, the table drops down, cushions go on top. Now, mind you, this will not be a big enough bed for an adult. However, if you have a small child, it's great for that. Or if you have a pack and play, you can set up a pack and play there too. That way it's up and out of the way. We take a look underneath here. You'll see LED lights to help brighten the place up. You actually have LED lights throughout the whole camper, which are great. Storage up top. Notice how because it is an overhead door, it is strut assisted. Easy one hand operation, brush nickel pulls, and you have tinted glass all the way along the top there too. Quick look at the ceiling. I did mention the LED lights. You do have a roof mounted AC here as well. So, you know, if you'd like to camp, it's really warm. You have shore power, turn that guy on. It'll cool it down in a hurry. On a rainy day, you want some entertainment? Right over here is the TV, folks. 32 inch TV there. That is on a swing arm mount. So of course you can view it from some different angles. And connected to that is this multimedia center right here. That is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in right there and you're good to go. Right here in the bedroom is the queen bed. If you take a look, you'll see it does lift up nice and easily, strut supported. That way you can store stuff underneath there. On both sides of the queen bed here, you see you have large nightstands. So plenty of room to put your cu uh, cup of water, or if you have a tablet or cell phone you need to charge, or a CPAP machine, you can easily fit all of it uh, on the nightstands here. And you have electrical outlets on the side of the bed in case you need to you know, plug those items in. Right up top, you will see you have a couple wardrobes there. You have a shelf as well as a hanging rod going across the top. You also have a shelf connecting the two in between here with two LED reading lights underneath. You have windows on both sides. This one is an emergency exit, so hopefully you never have to use that. But if you do, just know you can quickly get out of there. And then you have the privacy curtain right here. So that way you can close this off in case you do have additional guests. That will give you some much needed privacy. Take a quick look at the ceiling here, folks. I do want to point this out. You have a nice big fan here. So if you don't want to run the AC, you can open some windows up, turn that guy on. It'll do a good job of getting any smells out of here. Plus it creates, again, a nice cross ventilation. Storage all across the top in the off door slide here. You can see that right there. Again, strut supported because it is a overhead operation. LED light underneath there, nice big window. And then the sofa itself here is a jackknife sofa. It does have the removable armrests on here, which are cool. At least it has them. I also like that it has this off to the side. Not so much because you need an armrest. Obviously, it comes with them, but more so because that way you have a place to put your beverage, right? Uh, far too often, I'm sitting here on a couch and I don't have a place to put my drink. Not going to be an issue right here. And underneath, there's a little bit of additional storage there, too, if you want to sneak a couple knickknacks sneak a couple knickknacks or a book or something like that in there. Maybe if I could talk, we'd be good. Uh, moving back a little bit further, we get into the kitchen. So not a bad kitchen setup here. You don't have a ton of countertop space, but they did help make up for it because they gave you a double bowl sink here as well as a three burner cooktop. So you get the larger appliances. Now you have a sink top cover right here on one side. You may want to get one for the other. Now, you know, I don't know. I do like having at least one. This is a cutting board too. So if you want to flip it over and use it as a cutting board, by all means, you can do that. If we take a quick look underneath, you see you have some good storage underneath there. That hose right there, folks, is to the water pump. That is actually for winterization. So you can just put that right in your bottle of glycol and pump that through the unit. Right up top here is electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. Uh, the sink itself is a double bowl sink there with the high rise faucet. So it's a little bit easier to wash and rinse dishes. And then over here to the side is the three burner cooktop with the oven underneath. Directly underneath that is your direct vent furnace. So, you know, again, if you're camping colder season, need to heat it up, that'll certainly do it. Right up top here is your hood with a light and fan microwave above that. And then right over here again, you have more storage. 
So we step into the bathroom, you will see right over here, you have your foot flush lever toilet. Good leg room in front there as well. And right next to that underneath the counter, you can kind of see you have your toilet paper holder mounted right in there. So it's kind of tucked away, which is nice. And you still have additional room if you want to put something else there too. And then right up top, folks, take a look at all this storage behind the toilet. You have a ton of great storage there. Awesome linen closet built right into the wall. You also notice you have a couple of robe hooks there. So you have a spot in which you can hang uh, your towels. Or if, you know, you rock a robe, certainly hang a robe there too. You know, go crazy. You see another one down a little bit lower. That, of course, will be for your hand towels. Big countertop on here, too. You can take a look at that. You'll see how far it extends over so that we have plenty of room for toothbrush holder. You know, if you need to set a hair dryer curling iron down, you can do that, too. Sink there as well as storage underneath and a mirrored medicine cabinet right up above the sink. If we look over to the side here, you will notice the tub shower unit. So, uh, you know, this is nice. Uh, having a tub... You know, a lot of people don't like a tub. They want a regular shower. But the nice thing about the tub, folks, is when you have a curtain, the curtain will actually stay inside the tub. A lot of times on the shower, the curtain's not long enough, and it you have water all over the bathroom. So I do like the fact there's a tub in here. You'll also see you have the hand wand there, so it's nice and easy to wash up, and a big skylight up top, giving you that additional headroom that you need if you're a little taller. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features of the Jfeather 22RB. Starting off right up front here, folks, you have a power tongue jack. Just touch a button to raise and lower the tongue. Makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You'll also see you have LED light right up front there. Just flip a switch. You have three additional lights in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Now around it, you see what they call the jacket. Uh, basically what this is, folks, is this is a bike carrier. The cool thing about it is it rides right up front here. So that way you can see your bikes as you're traveling down the road. And more importantly, uh, it doesn't void any warranties. You know, a lot of times in order to add the bike on there, you have to put a big hitch on, which if you don't know, will generally void your warranty. But by having this right up here, it comes straight from the manufacturer. It's good for 100 pounds. So I love the fact that it comes with it. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. And then you also see rails there for your battery. Down below, you have your solar prep. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. You'll also see the little sticker there showing that BAL frame, folks. It's the NXG frame, which is a huck bolt frame. Huck bolts are great. Uh, you know, one of the big advantages of huck bolts is the fact that, uh, you know, with a welded frame, your number one place it rusts at is right on that weld joint. By eliminating that weld joint, it helps reduce the chance of rust appearing there, which is great. And if you ever do get into an accident, the huck bolt frame is a lot easier to repair. You'll see right up here, you have kind of this diamond etched plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you have a couple blue LED marker lights there as well. When we come around to the sides, talk real quick about construction. This is a fully laminated product. Uh, going to the very basics, the great thing about, you know, having a fiberglass exterior is it's a lot easier to clean, right, than your, uh, than your aluminum. So that's a big advantage. But folks, this is a vacuum bonded structure as well, which is arguably one of the best types of lamination out there as far as the process goes. Aluminum framing on here as well. The roof on here is the Magnum roof system. That's a great system that Jayco uses. It's a very strong roof. They use two by, uh, two by two vertical supports instead of one bys. They have oversized nail plates on everything and the, everything is screwed instead of being stapled. On top of that, they use the Diflex 2 roofing material, which again is probably one of the best currently out there for your travel trailers. Uh, the great thing about it is it has the pliability and flexibility of a rubber roof, but it's a fleeceless TPO, which means you don't have to constantly get up there and add the plasticizers and stuff like you do to your rubber roof. So it's a lot less maintenance. You'll see your pass through right here. Granted, we have the rest of the jacket box in there. I apologize. That's where, again, the rest of the uh, the bike mount is, but nice pass through storage right there. And as I showed you inside, you can access that from underneath the queen bed as well. Right here is for an outside grill, folks. You can hook it up right there. It does come with it, which is great. You'll see the propane quick connect is right underneath there. So that way, if you want to cook outside, you know, you're cooking bacon or something in the morning, you can do that without stinking up the camper. Power awning right here, just touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It also has an adjustable pitch on there. And you have an LED light strip if you want light at night. 
You want outside TV, you have a mount right here. You also have a couple electrical outlets as well as your uh, cable and satellite inlet right there. And, or outlet rather, I'm sorry. And then right there is your um, fresh tank fill. So if you plan on taking this boondocking and you want to fill up your fresh water tank, which if you're boondocking, I highly recommend that is where you'll fill it up at. If you take a look at the wheels here, folks, you have beautiful shoes on here. This is aluminum alloy wheels, which are great. Not only they look beautiful now, but they'll continue to do so for years to come because aluminum doesn't rust. You also have nitrogen filled tires. And if you take a look right in between, you will see the Equiflex suspension system, which helps take a lot of the bumps and potholes and stuff out of the road when you're towing it. You'll see you have a couple speakers up top. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. That way you can sit out here underneath your awning and be able to control it from your smartphone or tablet. To get into the 22RB, you have two foldable steps and then you have the grab handle right here as well. Coming around to the back, you'll see this one does have your square tubular bumper. Uh, it's great for a couple reasons. One, you have the end caps. That way you can store your sewer hose in there so it's not you know, riding around in your pass through underneath your bed. That's the last thing you want when you're sleeping in the night, right? Also mounted to that bumper is your spare tire. This makes it really easy to get to here. It also has the cover on there. So, you know, if you ever do have to use it, which hopefully you don't, but if you do, it should be in good shape for you. Rear mounted ladder here, so you can quickly and easily climb up onto the roof, you know, even though you don't have as much roof maintenance, it's still not a bad idea to get up there once a year, uh, just to, you know, make sure there's not any cracks or anything. Uh, you know, so, or make sure you didn't hit a low hanging tree branch, anything like that. So always good to have. Right over here is your black tank flush, folks. Uh, this is again, a super convenient, helps wash out your black tank, anything that normally settles in the back, the bottom of the tank. This right here, because there's sprayers built in, hook a hose up right there, it'll activate those sprayers and help push everything out, keeping your black tank cleaner and the smells down. You also have your outside shower with both hot and cold water access there. Lastly, folks, right here on the back, if you take a look, you'll see this one also has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having it prepped basically makes it a plug and play installation, meaning it will save you money. Coming around to the side here, this is your cable and satellite inlet. 30 amp detachable power cord will go right there. Down underneath, this is your termination. Both your black and gray tank valves are located right there. And up a little bit further here is your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco Jayfeather 22RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.